Yes guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and it's Premier League prediction time. I've already done my Champions League quarter final draw, well semi final, all of it, like the road to final um uh draw and live reaction. So if you want to go and watch that, make sure you watch the latest video and um yeah. Um, Premier League prediction time, game week 29. There's only four games and we, obviously there's the inclusion of the uh, FA Cup quarterfinal as well. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll run through the teams that I think we'll get through that. But yeah, the main focus is Premier League prediction. So yeah, up first is Fulham Leeds. Let's get into okay, it. Okay, so up first we have Fulham taking on Leeds United. And this is an interesting game. Fulham need to win this one, I feel like. This is a winnable game against a Leeds United side. Who we were very decent against Chelsea last week out, but not really playing for much. So, you know, like Fulham, if they're going to stay up, these are the games they've got to win. Because I know they've got a few hard away games coming up. But, um, yeah, I think they'll draw, though, to be fair. I, I can see Leeds getting a goal and it being 1-1. One -one, to be honest with you, I'm going to go over 1-1 one -one draw. Yeah, both teams to score. But, um, yeah, not the worst point for Parker's side. But, yeah, they're going to want all three in. Going off my dad's score prediction is what they want, and yeah, my dad's gone with a two one to uh, sorry two one to Fulham. So uh, yeah, he's back in Fulham to win. So uh, yeah, Fulham do win, puts pressure right on the teams above them. So uh, yeah, let's move okay, on. Okay, so next game is a massive game. It is Brighton taking on Newcastle. I'll give you the biggest game of the Premier League weekend. But, um, yeah, pff, well we all know both teams are right down there in the dumps and. Um, yeah, either three points for either team would be crucial, and it pretty much it's pretty much a six pointer, isn't it? Like if you win that game, you put nice breathing space, but if you lose, you're in trouble. Um, yeah, I fancy Brighton. What a performance against Southampton last time out. Thoroughly deserved three points, and they actually took their chances for once, which is credit to Brighton. Um, yeah, on the other hand, Newcastle last minute Jamal sells equalised against Villa last time out secured them a point so um yeah i fancy brighton like i said i'm gonna go with a 2-1 to brighton my dad's gone 2-0 so he's back in brighton to win nicely i think it'll be a great game but it's a massive game for both teams let's move okay, on okay so the next game comes at london stadium where it's west ham united taking on arsenal um yeah, big game for both teams. Arsenal pushing for them Europa League places and after a really good win against Tottenham last week. And um, yeah, West Ham unlucky to lose 1-0 against Man United. Um, yeah, they need to get back to winning ways if they've got serious contention of getting in them Champions League spots. But yeah, tough game to call. Uh, Arsenal usually good against West Ham. Though. That's the thing, like... But I fancy West Ham to get something. I'm going to go over 1-1 one, one draw on this one again. Um, yeah, my dad's gone 2-1 Arsenal. So, uh, yeah, interesting game that one. Let's move okay, on. So, to conclude the Premier League games, um, yeah, it comes at Villa Park, where it's Aston Villa taking on Tottenham. Let's all laugh at Tottenham. <laughs> Unbelievable. 2 nil up first leg, and they lose 3-0 to a pub team. Um, yeah, obviously, he ran the show, didn't he? But, um, yeah, Villa... Without Grealish, they've stumbled a bit, but they're still picking up the points here and there. They're not going to get Europe, in my opinion, but they're going to be top 10, I reckon. So, uh, yeah, not a bad season for Villa. I think this game's going to go Villa's way. I reckon a 2-1 to Aston Villa. Mourinho crisis, losing the North London derby and then going out in the way they did in the Europa League. Crisis at Tottenham. But, um, yeah, my dad's gone 1-1, so he's going with a draw on that one. I'm going 2-1 to uh, Villa. So, yeah, that's all the Premier League predictions. Okay, so I'll quickly run you through my FA Cup predictions. I'm not going to go fully into detail. But first game comes at the Ding Court or the Vitality Stadium, which Bournemouth taking on Southampton. And I'm going to go with Southampton just. 2-1 to Southampton on that one. The next game comes at Goodison Park, where it is Everton taking on Man City. And... Uh, yeah, fancy Man City to win that one and get through to another semi-final. I'm going to go with a 2-0 to Man City. Um, yeah, on Sunday, it's my team Chelsea in the quarter-final against Sheffield United, who you have an interim manager. Arguably, we've got the easiest draw there. So, um, yeah, I hope we can do enough. And I'm going to go over 2-0 win to the Blues. And the last game is Leicester versus Man United. Interesting game, this one. 
big game for both teams in terms of what they're going to achieve this season. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Leicester. 2-1 to Leicester. Oh, I don't know, Man United away. Maybe Man, Man United penalties. Changed my mind. Man United penalties. But yeah, so that concludes the uh, FA Cup predictions and uh, Premier League predictions. It's not a long one. Obviously, because there's only four games in the Premier League. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, I'll see you for match reaction for Sheffield United for a chance at Wembley. Let's do it. See you later.